I got some real special guests in the uh, house tonight, man. I'm so proud. They've been together uh, 38 years. My parents, stand up, my parents in the house. Stand up, stand up. 38 years. I don't see how my mama put up with that nigga for 38 years. My dad is a thug. I just, you know, at a certain age, you're supposed to just move past hip hop. <laughs> my dad is 60 years old and still supporting hip hop. Look at his shirt. He got name brand shit on. Every time I call him, you heard that new Jay Z album, nigga? Y'all think I'm lying. My dad sold drugs. He just retired from selling drugs about four years ago. I'm serious. <laughs> you know how hard it is when your father's a drug dealer when you're going, growing up in school? Because all the teachers tell you, don't talk to drug dealers. <laughs> don't listen to drug dealers. But more importantly, don't ever let a drug dealer tell you what to do. You know, that's, that's a confusing shit when you're coming home to your dad, you know? <laughs> I used to go to him for advice. I remember when I first got my heart broke. You know, you're real sensitive when you first get your heart broke. I'm trying to tell, tell him what happened. He's sitting there, seriously, loading up a 38. Listen, uh huh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, you can't trust them bitches. You got to learn that these bitches ain't no good. You got to play them for what they're worth. <laughs> yeah, nigga, bitches is like buses. There'll be one coming through. You miss one, catch the next one. That's what you got to do. <laughs> yeah, mm hmm. Now pass me that cocaine over there, nigga. I got to make a drop off. You sit there and cry for a little while, I'll be right back, all right? <laughs> but I love you, man, I love you. <laughs> <laughs>